So if you don't have a lot of room and you're just looking to start just a couple seeds and you don't need the 1020 tray to do it, then I just use something like that. Last year I did winter sowing in containers. I'm not doing that this year. If it saves me a little space under my grow lights, I'm going to try it that way first. <laughs> hey, what's up? My name is Crystal. Welcome to our channel. We are in Connecticut, zone six, and today I am starting three things I've never grown before from seed, and they are leeks, celery, and artichokes. I'm excited to try growing some new things this year. Now, if there's a specific part that you're looking for, check out the description box below and I have all the timestamps and you can just click the section that you want and we'll bring it right to that part of the video and you don't have to wait around. <laughs> now I have three sets of seeds here. I have American Flag Leeks from Hudson Valley Seed Company, Tall Utah Celery by Fairy Morse. These are not organic but I forgot to order celery seeds and I went to like three different places before I actually found these. They didn't have any organic varieties of celery and I just kind of, I really wanted to grow it this year and I wanted to start it at the same time I was starting these. And then I also have the Green Globe Artichoke from MI Gardener. These seeds were packed for 2021. Let's get started with leeks. Now leeks are very similar to onions and I'm going to start them that way. I have a combination of organic container mix along with an organic seed starting mix in here. I'm just going to mix this up really well. These will stay in their containers until they get transplanted outside. So I wanted to use a container mix, something with a little bit of nutrients in it other than just seed starting mix. I'm going to add in the hot water. I think I did it good on the first shot this time. I like to get the soil to the point where you squeeze it together and it stays, but it also kind of just crumbles apart. So that's perfect. Now I'm going to add them to the pots. These are four inch pots that I got off of Amazon. I think they're made by Vivo Sun. Um, I could put the link of where I got them. I believe I got them last year, maybe the year before. And it was just a really good deal. I was able to get a hundred of them. These are the size that I'm using. They're the four inch ones. And then I already have all of my labels done. And we're gonna start with the leeks first. I'm only using one container for the leeks. I have room on a 1020 tray already under grow lights for the some of the hot peppers I've started. I'll just move them all over at the end. I'm gonna be starting the seeds for the leeks pretty much the same exact way as I started the onions. I'm just gonna do a heavy sow of the seeds. These are American flag leeks, and I got these from Hudson Valley Seed Company. The seeds look pretty much identical to onions. That's how they look. And I'm just going to broadcast them onto to the soil here. And I will separate them when I transplant them outside. I'm gonna add a little bit of the moist soil on top. And then I have a label all ready to go. And that's it. With the celery, I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing as the onions. I'm taking a little bit of a risk because I've never grown these before, but I'm pretty certain I should be able to separate the seedlings fairly easy. If it saves me a little space under my grow lights, I'm going to try it that way first. <laughs> the celery I'm starting is by Fairy Morse. It is not an organic variety. The exact variety is Tall Utah number 5270R. And it says improved. Celery I'm new to, so everything I'm trying is based on what I've seen and read. I already have the labels all set. I'm gonna stick those in. My plan for the celery is that I'm just going to sow them right on top. Very tiny seeds, so small. I'm going to just surface sow these, sprinkle them right on top, press them down, but I'm not burying them. So it looks like that. And we're gonna make sure we keep the soil moist by spraying it with water periodically. And lastly, the artichokes. Last year I did winter sowing in containers. I'm not doing that this year. I saved containers to do it and I just, I really couldn't think of something that I was going to start that way. Last year I started lavender, so many lavender plants from winter sowing. It was just such a great method 
of starting the plants was that way and I, I might do that again next year for them. I had saved strawberry seeds from some of the strawberries that we had grown ourselves the year prior and I started those last year from seed using the winter sowing method in the plastic jugs and it worked out really good. So I was actually thinking I might do that with artichokes this year but I shied away from it and decided to just start them indoors in a more controlled environment and see how it goes. So I actually took the seeds and I put them in my refrigerator for a while. I would love to be able to tell you how long they've been in there I don't know ever since I decided I was gonna grow artichokes I stuck them into my refrigerator and they've been sitting there ever since we'll see if it actually helps them germinate or not the plants can get pretty big I'm only going to be starting four my hope is that I'll be able to add another garden bed made from rocks next to where I grew the flowers last year I already have the labels done so with the artichokes I'm gonna be making a half inch hole and I'll be adding two seeds per hole and then thinning back to one. That is what the seeds look like. Okay, and that is it. And now we'll move them over to the grow lights. I will get more into the my grow method for the artichokes and how I hope to overwinter them outside using a heavy mulch and possibly covering them. I don't know yet. I'll see how it goes once we get to that point. If you haven't seen our starting onions video and starting some of our hot peppers video, I will link them down below. We have them over here under grow lights on a heat mat. I'll be adding the seeds we just started over here. This is the habanero and the Hungarian yellow wax. None of them germinated. I ended up adding a whole bunch of seeds a couple days ago to see if I can get at least one to germinate. So I'm gonna leave these on the heat mat. The pumpkin spice jalapenos look so good. I'm thrilled with how these plants look. These came from Baker Creek. The problem with the round packs is they don't fit super nicely in a 1020 tray. But I want to save my square ones for when I start peppers and when I need to pot up tomatoes. Alright, now I'm going to add, I still have some warm water. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to this. I save all of the containers that we get. So I have an entire... <laughs> collection of all kinds of containers and jars and all sorts of things and I find it really useful when I am starting seeds and stuff to have things like this in case I really don't need a huge 1020 tray I can just use a little container so if you don't have a lot of room and you're just looking to start just a couple seeds and you don't need the 1020 tray to do it then I just use something like that and you can still water from the bottom. I'm just gonna leave them like that for now and, and see how they do. Here's how all of the plants look. They look really good. I will keep you updated on anything that happens or the, any changes that I make. But so far, all the other seeds I've started this year are doing pretty good with the exception of the Hungarian yellow wax and the habanero. Hey, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.